Hello everybody, welcome back to our oil pump tutorials We almost uh, did all the parts and now we are in the in assembly environment We'll place our body Right click and place it grounded to origin Escape and we can see that it's grounded, it, it didn't move We'll place the lower bushes Lower bush Open One, two We'll use Insert constraint to insert this To the end of our hole Apply And the other one Two Here Click OK, click Save, let's call it, name it by Oil Pump, and hit Save. Just make sure that our distance is 2 millimeters from here to here, it's 2, 3 millimeters. Okay. Now, we'll, uh, as we to I promised you, we'll get another approach to have the shaft. We'll go to Design Center, and we'll have our shafts here. Okay. It's by standard. I have three pieces. We can omit these ones. Okay. Omit this one. Click yes the only one we have it it's very simple to deal with it we click on this three dots and we can change the diameter and the length of every piece so we'll go back here we'll start at this 12 and the distance is 10 so I'll go back here and give it 12 diameter with 10 click OK and we'll there is a chamfer here we'll make a chamfer and this chamfer will be one millimeter and a K it's chamfered on the other part to add another part of the shaft we click this cylinder of course we can add uh, uh, split it selected we can add uh, cone and other things we'll add a cylinder only and uh, and we'll give it the other dimensions that, that, that dimension it will be 24 by 4 ok 24 sorry 24 by 4 click ok we don't have any chamfers anything here go back and take the other part it will be the other one will be uh, just make it a little bigger to see ok the diameter is 18 and the dimension is from here to here is 41 okay so let's do it this one we finish okay we'll add another part the diameter is 18 and this the distance is 41 click OK let's continue at the end of this 41 we have a chamfer we'll do it ok let us do this chamfer 1 millimeter chamfer all, all the chamfers are 1 millimeter so we'll make a chamfer here chamfer 1 millimeter ok and we'll have another one which will, which will be 14 and 60 ok 14 and the length is 60 ok and we'll have the chamfer, chamfer at the end of it 1 millimeter ok click ok ok 
and here we have our shaft of course we can take it and give it as steel steel oh my god uh, okay steel or steel steel okay steel let us give it steel and blue okay so this is our shaft we hit save okay and now we'll constrain our shaft to our body so we'll use constraint insert constraint okay this no yes this face to the bottom of our here and we reverse it and click OK and we'll hit save let us make another the other shaft design shafts and we have the other shaft let us see what we have here we have uh, 12 10 the first 424 the second the other one is 41 but the diameter is 16 the diameter is 16 so we'll come back here what is it 41 by 16 we'll change this one to 41 by 16 here 16 click OK and the last part it will be 12 6 12 6 ok go back the last part will be 12 and 6 click OK here's our other shaft it's very easy click OK OK and let's give it a material again steel what is our steel steel alloy let's give it I like it more than that one I can't go to this shaft text and give it as steel alloy to steel alloy steel alloy yes okay Let's appearance let's take it okay and click the X to take out the appearance that we did okay it's constraint okay insert constraint we'll take as that one this part here to this part here we'll reverse it up and click OK let us check first save OK click here right click and go to bill of materials We'll do it. Ne we'll do it next. We, c we have to change the, the these names. Okay. Uh, let us check. Uh, as I said, view half section is our assembly is good. This section with this one. Okay. And let us see what we have. Everything is fine. Yes. My shaft is the upper of the bush. The shaft is down. The bushes is down everything is okay now we we'll go back and end our sectional view 
hit save yes and see you in next videos to continue our work